This video will introduce uh, sinusoids and exponentials, which are uh, a class actually of related signals, although it may not seem that way the first time you look at it. But uh, they're used a lot in signals and systems. It turns out that um, uh, exponentials uh, play an important role in both Laplace transforms and sinusoids uh, play an important role in Fourier transforms although it's kind of weird to talk about it that way after you've seen this because it turns out that sinusoids and exponentials are actually related to each other. So I'm assuming that most of you have seen a sinusoid before. Uh, for those of you that haven't heard the word sinusoid, it's kind of a fancy way of saying a cosine or a sine. So a sinusoid might look like this some amplitude a times the cosine omega 0 t plus theta. Okay, so um, these terms are related as follows. This is the amplitude. This is the frequency, sometimes called the angular frequency and this is oftentimes called the phase. Okay, and uh, again I'm hoping that you've seen this before in uh, physics or some or math. Uh, if I graph this then um, I get a signal that looks like this. Um, the sinusoid where the peak amplitude of that sinusoid is A and it goes uh, between A and minus A. Um, the distance between the peak here and zero, this is given by the phase and the this is a periodic signal which means that it repeats itself every period so from uh, here to here is one period and the period is given by 2 pi over the frequency. Okay, so again this is a periodic signal. A periodic signal means that it repeats itself uh, every period and uh, that period is uh, determined by the frequency. So uh, the sinusoids that you're used to seeing, for example a cosine omega 0 t or a sine omega 0 t are just special cases of this more general thing here. Uh, I can actually get a uh, sine from a cosine by a phase shift of pi over 2. Okay, so hopefully you've seen these before. This is more of a review and uh, this is not new. Okay, so now let's talk about an exponential. Um, and I'll start with the easy one first because I'm a little afraid to introduce you to the idea of complex exponentials because uh, you'll get scared, run away. That shouldn't be that scary. Um, uh, probably you're familiar with exponentials. So if I have an exponential, so e to the at that's the form for a real exponential. We'll talk about complex exponentials in just a minute. If a is positive, then this exponential looks something like this, um, where at a value of t equals 0, it has a value of 1. If a is negative, so this corresponds to a positive. If a is negative, 
then it looks like this. It's what we oftentimes call a decaying exponential. Uh, decaying exponentials are generally good because they indicate that a system is going to be stable. Uh, increasing exponentials are generally bad because they indicate that a system is uh, increasing exponentially.